final award goes to Martha King. Martha, come on down. So Martha expands horizons in aviation education by combining elegant technology with clear, simple, and fun teaching in her video courses. Martha, in partnership with her husband, John, made aviation knowledge not only more accessible to pilots worldwide, but revolutionized the way that they learn. Along the way, Martha has actually taught more pilots than any other instructor in the history of aviation. That's remarkable. Yes. Nearly every pilot has taken a King course at one time, and almost half of each year's crop of new private and instrument pilots in the United States use King School's education materials. Martha pioneered improvements in risk management practices during flight and briefed thousands of pilots across the globe on that subject. For many years, Martha also served on boards of directors of the San Diego Air and Space Museum and the Charles M. Murrow Lindbergh Foundation. And in 2003, Martha was honored at Kitty Hawk along, along with 99 others by the First Flight Centennial Commission as one of the 100 distinguished aviation heroes in the first century of flight. Now, among those with her on stage to receive that Hero Award were Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, Chuck Yeager, John Glenn, and Patty Wagstaff. So she was amongst VIP company there, right? Martha has received many awards and honors, including a place on the 100 Most Influential Women in Aviation given by Women in Aviation International. But Martha considers her greatest honor to be the privilege of playing a critical role in the lives of so many learning pilots. She is such a pioneer, and we're so grateful to have her. Thank you so much, and congratulations, Martha King. Fly me to the moon, let me play among the stars. My husband, John, and I went bankrupt in a business that we started because it was handy, but we never had a passion for that business. And we said, wow, that really hurt. Let's not do that again. <laughs> we were already pilots and we loved aviation, and so we said, let's just do something for the fun of it. Let's teach flying until a serious business comes along. <laughs> well, it's been 43 years. <laughs> and we're just about to give up looking for a serious business. <laughs> John and I are partners in life, in business, and in aviation. But having a partner in all those areas does not mean, does not dismiss or, or dim the competence of each of us individually. John likes to think, as a matter of fact, that our relationship exemplifies that old saying, that behind every successful man stands a great woman. But I'm sure that there's many women out there who would say instead that the real truth is behind every successful woman stands some guy <laughs> without a clue <laughs> who's blocking her view. <clears throat> It is a very great honor to be chosen by the East County Chamber of Commerce to represent women from my community. My community is aviation. Being a woman in aviation is very rare. There are only 600,000 pilots in the U.S. That's two-tenths of 1% of the U.S. population. And of those pilots, only 6% are women. But women in aviation have proven their mettle. My husband, John, who's here today, is a big booster of me and of women in general, and particularly women who fly. And in an article written by him in Flying Magazine called Learning to Fly Like a Girl, he, he pointed out that the presence of a woman in a flight crew makes the flight much safer. And that's because women are better pilots than men, 
due to their better risk management than when. I wonder how that happens. So I encourage women to become pilots and perhaps to consider flying as a career. Flying is very special and very deeply rewarding. And I believe it helps people become better managers and particularly better leaders. I consider that my training as a pilot, particularly in situational awareness and risk management, greatly contributed to my success in business. I attribute the success of King Schools primarily to two things. One, at King Schools, we make aviation learning accessible by making it clear, simple, but most of all, fun. And number two, we focus on seeking out and taking care of the needs of our customers, our employees, our vendors, and everyone we come in contact with. So if I have any advice to pass on, I'll build on the advice from Jenny and say, do something that you have fun at and that you're really passionate about and focus on go doing good things for other people. It will be personally very satisfying and deeply rewarding. And it's good business, too. Thanks again to the East County Chamber of Commerce, to the awardees and nominees here, and all of the attendees, and everyone who supports this great event and this wonderful cause. Thank you very much to everyone. Let's have a big hand for everyone here. Thank you again.